Back with you at Nippert Stadium where the 2016 season has come to a close for FC Cincinnati. Lindsey Patterson is with John Harks. Let's head down to the pitch. Coach, just an emotional match out there tonight. Your guys created opportunities. They played a heck of a game out there, but your season ends sooner than you would like today. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I, you know, you have to always remind yourself as well as the players, you know, what a great year we've had. Um, you know, from a club standpoint, on the field and off the field, um, we worked so hard. And look, it's, it's not the best part of the game. You got to take the, the wins with the losses as well. We give away two set piece goals and it, you know, it hurts. It does because the guys played well. They played very well. And it's a talented team. It's a lot more to come from FC Cincinnati. I can tell you that much. We accomplished a lot in the first year, made it to the playoffs. We're not happy. We're not satisfied with this at all. But we do appreciate the fan base and what we have here. Something special, and we're growing. Thanks so much, Coach. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you, Lindsay. A fantastic job all season long by Lindsay Patterson down on the sideline, getting the post-match thoughts from John Harks and checking in throughout all of our match broadcast. Today's Man of the Match is presented by Joseph Toyota, number one in Cincinnati for sales satisfaction. For the second straight year, come experience the Joseph way and the man of the match today pretty easy a highlight real goal for Eric Stevens I thought it was fantastic all, all evening really um, obviously that, that goal is something special but just in his play and, and kind of willingness to get on the ball and make things happen he was kind of unlucky in the second half too with a, another strike from distance uh, I thought he was a real hunter and uh, definitely deserving of uh, man of the match Stevenson nearly tied the game late at two apiece on another great look right there in front of the Bailey you see all the faithful supporters they are drumming I don't know if they're dancing tonight because they're obviously disappointed that the season has come to an end but you heard John Harks it's been special there are more great things to come for FC Cincinnati we've had a blast doing this all year but something really special happened over the last six months here in the Queen City yeah I mean you know the, the Bailey I'm sure are very proud of the organization, not just the Billy, but the fans, the organization, the team, the coaching staff. Um, we, we witnessed and been lucky to be a part of something special. Um, well, I don't think anyone could have kind of vision how this all turned out. And, you know, to be honest, I, I thought they delivered on a lot of fronts. Very unlucky today. And I'm sure they're, they're disappointed. But as John said, they're not satisfied. So they'll be back again hungry next year and, and hopefully can go a couple of steps further. I right, see Sean Acoli there walking off the pitch. John Harks waving to the fans. The community has embraced FC Cincinnati and FC Cincinnati has embraced the community. Folks, we'll see you again in March when this club opens the 2017 season. Once again, our final score from Nippert Stadium, Charleston 2 and FC Cincinnati 1. Our next broadcast of USL Soccer here on television and radio comes your way. Well, next season unfortunately for sideline reporter lindsey patterson a broadcast partner kevin mccloskey our producer david asprock and production manager mike bacon i'm tom glitter saying so long good night it's been a blast we'll see you next year right here at nippert stadium